What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to game share games on your PlayStation 5 console. So in case you didn't know what game sharing is, it is basically a process we can do on our PlayStation 5 that allows us to share our games between different consoles or between different users. Using this method, we can share our PlayStation 5 games, PlayStation 4 games, and even PlayStation Plus across all the users on a console. So a few things before I get into the actual tutorial. One, you cannot game share disc games. You actually have to physically share those. We can only game share digitally downloaded content. The second thing is I'm making this video from the perspective of you game sharing your games with your friend. So if you want your friend to game share his games with you or you both want to game share each other's games, be sure to show your friend this video and make sure that he knows this process and does it on his console as well. So with that out of the way, let's get into the actual tutorial. So starting on your console, logged in with your account, go up to the settings menu, then go down to users and accounts, then go down to other, and then select the option console sharing and offline play. Now, if you game share on PlayStation 4, this process is very similar to the primary account system that was in place on PlayStation 4 consoles. Basically, each user has a home console, and every other user that is on that home console gets access to all the user's games and their memberships and benefits as long as they remain active or as long as they have console sharing enabled. So essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving our friend our account and we're going to be making his console our home console so that he can have access to all of our games and all of our benefits. We will still be able to play our own games on our PlayStation 5 using our user, but no one else on this console will have access to them as long as our friend is playing them. So this whole thing might sound really complicated in concept, but in practice it's actually very easy. So all we have to do here on our console is select disable. Now if it shows enable for you, just leave it as is. But if your screen looks like mine does, then select disable. So that's about all we can do on our own PlayStation 5. So now we can head over to our friend's console. So the first thing we need to do is add our user to his console. So my user is already added on here, but if yours isn't, just head to add user, select get started, go through all this, agree, and then sign in using your PlayStation Network account. So this is the same account that is attached to your user, so be sure that you sign in with the correct PlayStation Network account. And then once you're signed in, just select the user, and it'll take you to the home screen here. So now, we can head up to Settings, and we can head back to the same menu we were in before. So Users and Accounts, down to Other, and then Console Sharing and Offline Play. This time we are going to enable it so that this console becomes our home console and everyone has access to our games here. So I'm going to select OK. And just as a precautionary measure, I'm also going to restore licenses. Sometimes if you're doing stuff like this with your user, PlayStation can lock games, and there can be issues with ownership of the games. Just in case there is an issue, we are going to restore licenses. So just select Restore. It should only take a few seconds, depending on how many games you have. And once the licenses are restored, we can head back all the way to the home screen here. And now we can actually download the game so our friend can play them on his console. So stay logged in as your user. Do not log out of your user account. Then head to the library and then just go to your collection. So in here, all of your games should appear. And then just select the games that your friend wants and then download them to his console. Be sure to stay logged in as your user while the game is installing. Also, do not put your PlayStation 5 into rest mode. Just leave it on and logged in as the game is installing here. Once the games are done installing, we can switch out of our user account and log into our friend's account. So now our friend has access to all of our games and he can play them on his console as long as our account has console sharing enabled. If you disable console sharing, then your friend will no longer have access and the games will be locked. So be sure to stay logged in, keep your user as the primary on this PS5, and you should be good to go. Now you can both play the same game at the same time, just be sure that your friend is logged in with his user on his PlayStation 5 and make sure that you are logged in with your user on your PlayStation 5 and you should be able to play simultaneously in the same game. If for whatever reason your games become locked on your console or your friend's games become locked on his console, it could be because that one of you has gone offline. So if uh, one of you loses connection, then you will lose access to all of your games. To fix that, you have to uh, enable console sharing again on your PlayStation 5, and then you'll be given access once again to your games. You can also share each other's games at the same time. Just basically do this process on each other's consoles, and you will each have access to each other's games. Also, this process does not affect the PlayStation 4 console sharing at all, so if you are sharing games on PS4, or you have different accounts as primary on your PlayStation 4 consoles, this method will not affect those at all. That's its own separate thing, so don't worry about losing any games on PlayStation 4. 
All right, so that about does it for today's video. If you have any questions about this tutorial, leave them down below. This can be a complicated process, and there are a lot of issues you can run into while game sharing, so if you have any, leave them down below. If you have any ideas for future videos or any problems you might be having on your PlayStation 5, leave those down below as well. Other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide. Be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.